Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. And today we're going to take a look at the 50 highest selling 1980s baseball cards from the Fanatics Weekly Auction that ended on September 22nd. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1988 star promo blank back Ken Griffey Jr. This was a PSA 9 that received 12 bids and it sold for $37.20. Up next at number 49 is this 1987 Don Russ Cal Ripken Jr. card number 89. This was a PSA 10 that received 10 bids and it also sold for $37.20. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 48 with this 1987 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. card number 478. This was a PSA 10 that received 13 bids, and it sold for $38.40. Coming in at number 47 is this 1987 Topps Don Mattingly card number 500. This was a PSA 10 that received 14 bids, and it sold for $44.40. Up next at number 46 is this 1987 OPG Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 320. This rookie was in a PSA 8 that received 7 bids, and it sold for $44.40. Up next at number 45 is this 1984 Don Russ Don Mattingly Rookie, card number 248. This rookie was in a BGS 8 that received 11 bids, and it also sold for $44.40. Coming in at number 44 is this 1989 Upper Deck Dale Murphy, card number 357. This was a PSA 10 that received 14 bids, and it sold for $48.00. Up next at number 43 is this 1988 Fleer Update Glossy Craig Biggio Rookie, card number U89. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 17 bids, and it also sold for just short of $50. Coming in at number 42 is this 1988 Topps Tiffany Jose Canseco, card number 370. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $51.60. Up next at number 41 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Future Stars Bo Jackson Rookie, card number 170. This was a PSA 9 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $54 even. Coming in at number 40 is this 1986 Topps Traded Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 11T. This was an SGC 9.5 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $55.20. We get a player that I believe has never made a top 50 since I started covering these weekly auctions at number 39. With this 1982 Topps Traded Fergie Jenkins, card number 49T. This was a PSA 10 that received 13 bids, and it sold for $60 even. Up next at number 38 is this 1988 Star Promo Blank Back Glossy featuring Wade Boggs and Tony Gwynn. This was a PSA 10 that received 20 bids, and it sold for $62.40. 
Coming in at number 37 is this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire rookie, card number 401. This was a PSA 9 that received 16 bids, and it also sold for $62.40. Up next at number 36 is this 1983 Topps Dave Winfield, card number 770. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $64.80. Coming in at number 35 is this 1987 Don Russ the Rookies Mark McGuire Rookie, card number 1. This was a PSA 10 that received 8 bids, and it sold for $84 even. We welcome another newcomer to the list at number 34, with this 1986 Fleer Mini Nolan Ryan, card number 65. This was a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $105.60. Mr. Padres back at number 33 with this 1986 Don Russ Tony Gwynn card number 112. This was a PSA 10 that received 23 bids and it also sold for $105.60. Up next at number 32 is this 1986 Fleer George Brett card number 5. This was a PSA 10 that received 16 bids, and it sold for $132. Coming in at number 31 is this 1989 Fleer Bill Ripken FF Air Rookie, card number 616. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 14 bids, and it sold for $150. Barry Bonds is back to kick off the top 30 with his 1987 Fleer Rookie, card number 604. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 14 bids, and it sold for $150. Up next at number 29 is this 1981 Topps traded Fernando Venezuela Rookie, card number 850. This was a PSA 9 that received 13 bids, and it also sold for $150. Coming in at number 28 is this 1986 Pro Cards Dave Justice Minor League Rookie. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $156. Make that three straight newcomers to the list at number 27 with this 1980 Topps Willie Wilson card number 157. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids and it sold for $180. Up next at number 26 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Barry Bonds rookie Card number 320. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 13 bids, and it sold for just short of $200. Coming in at number 25 is this 1984 Fleer Update Kirby Pocket Rookie, card number U93. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 18 bids, and it sold for $210. We welcome another newcomer to the list at number 24 with this 1983 Fleer Ryan Sandberg Rookie Auto, card number 507. This was a PSA 9 with a 10 grade for the auto that received 25 bids, 
and it sold for $210. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 23 with this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie, card number 482. This rookie was in a PSA 8 that received 14 bids, and it also sold for $210. Up next at number 22 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Jose Canseco rookie, card number 620. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 19 bids, and it sold for $264. Coming in at number 21 is this 1987 Topps Tiffany Mark McGuire rookie, Card number 366. This was a PSA 10 that received 25 bids, and it also sold for $264. The kids back to kick off the top 20 with this 1989 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, card number 41T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $300 even. Up next at number 19 is this 1985 Topps Mark McGuire Rookie Auto, card number 401. This was a PSA 9 with a 10 grade for the auto that received 24 bids, and it sold for $336. Coming in at number 18 is this 1986 Don Russ Jose Canseco rookie, card number 39. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 26 bids, and it sold for $348. Up next at number 17 is this 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson rookie auto, card number 482. This was a PSA 7 with a 9 grade for the auto that received 15 bids, and it sold for $372. We welcome another newcomer to the list at number 16 with this 1987 Topps traded Tiffany Greg Maddox rookie, card number 70T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 22 bids, and it sold for $384. Coming in at number 15 is this 1989 Upper Deck Reverse Negative Dale Murphy, card number 357. This was a PSA 10 that received 28 bids, and it sold for $516. Up next at number 14 is this 1986 Topps traded Bo Jackson rookie, card number 50T. This was a PSA 10 that received 28 bids, and it sold for $720. Coming in at number 13 is this 1982 Don Russ Cal Ripken Jr. rookie, card number 405. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 23 bids, and it sold for $810. Up next at number 12 is this 1986 Topps traded Tiffany Bo Jackson rookie, card number 50T. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 30 bids, and it sold for $930. Coming in at number 11 is this 1985 Topps Kirby Puckett Rookie, card number 536. This was a PSA 10 that received 31 bids, and it sold for $930. 
And kicking off the top 10 of today's list is this 1981 TCMA Cal Ripken Jr. Minor League Rookie, card number 15. This was a PSA 10 that received 28 bids, and it also sold for $930. Up next at number 9 is this 1987 Classic Travel Update Greenback Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 113. This was a PSA 10 that received 28 bids, and it sold for $960. Coming in at number 8 is this 1987 Leaf Greg Maddox Rookie, card number 36. This rated rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 28 bids, and it sold for $1,320. Up next at number 7 is this 1982 Topps Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 21. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 30 bids, and it sold for $1,500. We get one of our weekly regulars at number 6, with this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 1. This star rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $1,950. Alright guys, and before we get to the top 5, I did pull aside 5 quick bonus cards to share with you today. We'll start off with this 1981 Fleer Rod Carew. Card number 268. This was a PSA 10 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $32.40. For another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1986 Don Russ Roger Clemens, card number 172. This was a PSA 10 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $32.40. Up next is this 1984 Topps Jack Morris, card number 195. This was a PSA 10 that received 7 bids, and it sold for $31.20. For our fourth bonus card, I ran across this 1983 Topps Wade Boggs rookie, card number 498. This was a PSA 8 that received 7 bids, and it sold for $26.40. Alright, and for our fifth and final bonus card, another player that missed the top 50, we get this 1985 Fleer Goose Gossage, card number 33. This was a PSA 10 that received 9 bids, and it sold for just over $20. And kicking off the top 5 of today's list is this 1987 Leaf Barry Bonds Rookie, card number 219. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $2,520. Up next at number 4 is this 1982 Fleer Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 176. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 23 bids, and it also sold for $2,520. Coming in at number 3 is this 1989 Fleer Glossy Ken Griffey Jr. card number 548. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 32 bids and it sold for $3,000 even. Up next at number 2 is this 1983 Topps Tony Gwynn Rookie card number 482. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 22 bids, and it sold for $3,360. And topping off today's list at number 1 is this 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie, card number 98T. 
This was a PSA 10 that received 36 bids and it sold for $4,800. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.